the greatest hazard to American health? AK-47s, AR-15s, cars, drugs, meth. No, it's it's this. These are these are magnets. It's really cool. Sahan Q. I got that close. Shahan Q. Q. Thank you from Zen Magnets. First of all, what what made you decide to get into this business? I want I want to show what you just made here, which is which is really cool. Why why magnets for a business? Why magnets? Because magnets are awesome. Um, I still don't really have a good question as to how or why these started, but. Uh, I think uh, five years ago I was on a camping trip and uh, I just thought the magnets were beautiful and fun and that there was so much potential in them. So these, these look very much, at least this, this set, look very much like um, um, ball bearings, but they're magnetized. But they're not ball bearings, are they? No, they're not made of um, steel or metal or anything. They're made of uh, neodymium. It's a rare earth metal. It, it's cool. Yeah, I, I agree. Then, I tell you what, how's business? Business is... Pretty good. It's gone up who, ever since all the controversy. Who 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 buys these, by the way? Who who buys them? Um, I would say typically uh, I particularly 18 like to 55-year-old males. Uh, that's 80% <laughs> of our demographic. Really? Right yeah. <laughs> I can see this. All right, so you just whip this up, but you can you can push it down. It's it's just a bunch of cool magnets, and you can play with it. You can make shapes. You found this somewhat hypnotic when you were yeah, developing this one. Yeah, I found it hypnotic and, and peaceful, which is why I called it Zen Magnets. Really? Right. Now, who, who, are your com- magnets. who are your competitors? Well, at this point, no one. We are the very last. Um, it used to be Buckyballs was the leading competitor, and there were a few others. But Buckyballs recently settled out of their lawsuit, um, and we're the last one still in a lawsuit. All right. When I was a kid, magnets were fun. You'd you'd put one on one side and on the other of a cardboard. You'd do it. You'd rub it in the ground. Get the iron filings. You'd play tricks. You'd you'd get them to attract, and then you get them to repel. Yeah, and it it yeah. just you know and, and they were they were scientific. They were fun and relaxing. And I can't you know it's no wonder that you know adult men want these now because we had <laughs> as kids we played with them. What's the danger of a magnet? Well, the danger of a magnet is that. Once ingested, more than one of them can pinch internally in your intestines, at which point surgery would be required. All right, so in other words, it, you have a magnet that's going through your intestine, you have another one, and they yeah. actually attract each other, right. and then And then close they don't up. come out. And they don't come out. Right, and they're pinching, and they'll eventually make holes, so they do require surgical removal. All right. Um, do you instruct your customers to eat these? I'm just curious. <laughs> um, no, actually... Do women use this for, for jewelry? Um, I, I think some do. Yeah, yeah make certainly. necklaces and... Cool. Um, yeah, some do. That's not the primary use, but uh, it's not a dangerous use. The only danger is consuming these magnets. And you have this big old warning on the bag. Yeah, it says, right. don't consume these. Yeah, yeah, don't... P- put it on your don't-do list, like walking to traffic and breathing water. Yeah. That's what the warning literally says. You don't don't mow your bushes with with a lawnmower by hand. Yes. Yeah. All exactly. Right, so, all right. I get this. This this is a cool thing. Mm-hmm. You don't want your kids to swallow these. Right. They do. You don't want your dog to harm. swallow these. Yeah. I mean, they right. do require some more care than many other products. But I mean, as far as the the harm of products go, um, there's three ways they can be categorized. For example, there's the products that are meant to cause harm. Things like guns. Warships, tasers, brass knuckles. Um, there's products that are expected to cause harm, even if used reasonably. So things like um, skiing, things like Knives, snowboards, trampolines, bl- right, right. things that have warnings that say using this is inherently dangerous, or things where you have to sign waivers usually. And then there are products that are only dangerous if misused. This is absolutely Which is pretty much everything in the everything world. Else. Yeah. All right, so, so here you are. You have this interest in magnets. You come up with a, a company. You're selling them. You're doing pretty well. Yeah, yeah. What happens next? Tell me, tell me who's trying to put you out of business. <laughs> okay, so that's the Consumer Product Safety Commission. They are a federal agency, and they, are, they have decided already to ban these magnets. That becomes live April 1st, if we do not successfully contest it, simultaneously They're they are banning also... banning magnets. Yes. How the hell do you ban <laughs> magnets? I mean, they're pieces of, of metal or alloy with a magnetic charge. You can rub it on something and it becomes magnetic. Right. How in the world do you outlaw this? And I want to make it clear, it's not Congress uh, yeah. that's outlawing this. They're not right. legislation, it's just some 
executive branch bureaucracy saying, uh, we're buzzkills and we don't want you to have any fun. Yeah, when you, when you ask how, are you asking like how they would enforce it or how philosophically uh, how, they can do that? I mean, what gives them the, the authority <laughs> to do it in the beginning? I mean, I don't, oh, this is they fun. have the authority, but um, whether they? or not they're... Yeah, that's, they're, they can set safety standards products, and in this case they just say that anything that's small, powerful, used for art education is um, not okay for sale. Wow. For any age. So how, how were you notified that your livelihood was going to be taken away and my fun uh, by, <laughs> by the federal government? Well, uh, most recently the, the decision to ban magnets occurred um, earlier this month, maybe uh, October, uh, October 16th or something around that. I don't remember, mid-October. Um, but this has been a very long ongoing thing. We've been fighting this for t over two years. What if you just made really big magnets that couldn't fit into anybody's mouth? Would that, would that solve it? Br <laughs> so, brick size magnets. Yeah, right? if they're bigger than, they have a, a tube, and if it's bigger than a tube about this big, then, then it's okay. But in fact, if these magnets were actually that big, they're so powerful that they would immediately amputate limbs if they snap together. Oh, cool, man. <laughs> Give me some, can you make that for me? That would be safer, right? Because then it wouldn't safer. fit in the tube. It wouldn't fit in the tube, so it would be cool. <laughs> All right, so, how, is this just you? Is it just you, is it, or, or do you employ people? Yeah, we have six employees at the moment. Um, and, and where do you sell these? Well, we sell them mostly online. Right now, there are also a few stores in Denver, um, mostly like head shops, marijuana dispensaries, places that oh, cater so, exclusively so, to adults. So, so you could get stoned and just play with this for hours. Is that is that your uh, major? That's not the direct implication, <laughs> but, but it's, it's mostly just to make sure that adults see them, and we don't really want to sell them in like sex stores or anything. So, well, now you're giving me ideas. All right, but you get <laughs> it at zenmagnets.com. Yes, you can order them directly. Right. Um, so before this business was good, even though you were the third largest mm -hmm. of these, now you're the only one. Yes. So you should be happy. The government put your, your competitors out of business, and you got this small window now to, to, to uh, uh, really make as many as you can and get them sold. <laughs> That's an interesting uh, perspective. Yeah. I mean, it's true that that if we prevail, we'll be in a very good up, like good place to sell these magnets. Um, however, we can't say that the odds are very good. Um, so you're going to court. Explain the, the case. What is it that you're going to be arguing? Well, we're arguing that these, like many th other things, are dangerous and mis misused. There simply are not that many injuries. Um, these are orders of magnitude safer than uh, almost Pogo with wheels. And yard door, uh, yeah, yard they're safer than balloons. They're safer than... Um, balloons are dangerous? Balloons are the number one killer of kids. Balloons are the number one killer of kids? Yeah. Yeah. Explain how a balloon kills a kid. They swallow it and they, they, they choke on choke, it? They choke and then they die and that's that. Right. right Which is why we're trying to sell these to just adults. But, well, but you can't control that and, um, and therefore the government has a right. Oh look, I made a nice little necklace. I think. <laughs> but the government can decide that this is, this is too dangerous for my own good. Even though I want this, now I could I could make this myself. I could get ball bearings. I could try no, to make No, I couldn't. No, they're not steel. They're 97% of the world's magnets of that sort come yep. from this one city in China. They're incredibly powerful for the size. Really? All right. But magnets can be made. I mean, yes. anyone can make magnets. Well, y yeah, not, you not can make strong, weak magnets, but not not rare earth high powered magnets. Are these magnets used in any sort of commercial application? Spherical magnets? Yeah. Spherical magnets are almost uh, exclusively used for uh, novelty purposes because they can connect from any side and um, there's not many industrial use for them. So this is just, this is adult relaxation, They're, this is adult fun, this is, this is something you've I made mean, up. How they, many, how it's many, how it's many? primarily for adults, but I, I shouldn't... My kids would love this. Yeah, I, exactly. And I believe that your kids would not swallow them. Generally, most children know not to consume non-foods. In fact, 99.99 percent, .99 more than that, are able to use these safely. But for some reason, you know, here in America, in, at the age of 21, you can buy and drink as much alcohol as you want. At the age of 18, you can purchase a rifle and smoke tobacco. At 16, someone can drive a motor vehicle on the public roads. At the age of eight is when the government says, 
that a child should be able to read and follow warnings, yet at no age are are any people allowed to purchase so these magnets. In the state of Colorado, I can buy dope, I can buy guns, I, I can get drunk, no. I can buy pogo sticks, I can uh, sneak up north and buy some fireworks and explosives, I can do all those sort of things, but in a few short months, mm -hmm. nowhere in the country will I be allowed to purchase this, because this is somehow more dangerous than the 40,000 people a year killed by cars, yeah. or all the yeah. other dangerous activities that we have. Apparently, yeah, unless we sold them as ammunition, in which case that'd be okay. Magnetic ammunition. Magne there we go. Magnetic bullets find their targets better. What do you think your chances are? What is this costing you? Let's, let's go there first. Um, so the lawsuit itself, about 100000 For a small company with six With a employees. small Denver lawyer to fight a big federal agency with millions. Um, but wow. also, they're, since they're also doing this ban, it's a lot harder to uh, ap appeal federal regulation. So that will be much more expensive. And um, I don't know, we're, we might be getting some help from some legal foundations, but it's uncertain at this point. Uh, it, it, you know, we, we have such tolerance for people's lifestyles, and that's mm -hmm. a good thing. You know, especially here in Colorado, where you know, we've, we've worked hard because people like to do things that maybe you don't understand. Playing with some magnets doesn't seem to be worthy of, of government <laughs> interference. Um, That's the consensus. There have been polls. If this was yeah. on the ballot, it would be laughed off. What, what are you going to do if they win? Which, I got to tell you, odds are a small little six-person business making a fun toy next to the regulatory power of the federal government, you're not in a good, good shape. Mm -hmm. what, right. So what are your employees going to do? What are you going to do when I'm not allowed to own this? Well, you'll, technically, you'll still be allowed to own them. You just can't sell it. You can't, you can't distribute it. You can't import it. So if I have one to begin with, something like you the have, magazine bans. Don't give it to anybody, because that'll be illegal. So it'll be just like the magazine bans here in Colorado. I can have this, but as of what date, I won't be able to give it to anybody. April 1st, right? <laughs> Beautifully, April 1st. People want to get some more information, or they, they want to help on the fight. Where, where should they go? Uh, well, a good place to start would be our website, zenmagnets.com. And um, there's a few other websites that are linked from there. Uh, um, our sister site is neoballs.com. We also sell magnets there. It's, it's, it's incredible. I, I, I'm sorry. I wish there was something more we could do that something as simple as this and one man's dream gets crushed by, by the government. It's, it's amazing. I'm, it's not just my dreams, but it's the rights of people that are one of the reasons I'm fighting. It's an, I, I'm, I'm grateful you do it. All right, so zenmagnets.com. Buy them because they're going to become contraband and then won't that be fun? Tell a friend about it. Listen for me on KHOW Radio. Tell the Independence Inst tell people about Independence Institute. That's independenceinstitute.org. And uh, we'll see you next week if we're not illegal by then.